Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we're doing a Riven game on the 3v3 map, Twisted Tree Line. And um, he is part of the QQ team, it seems. QQ Alpha. And he's, um, he's brought a pretty good 3v3 team. Uh, Blitzcrank, very hard to kill. Chogat, very hard to kill. And Riven, who is very mobile therefore very hard to kill and also has yeah they they all have stuns or silences or whatever they are they can pretty much take out uh, or well keep someone pinned to the ground for quite a while unable to mo to do any uh, anything to escape except maybe Welcome run away but yeah that's why they have blitzcrank a little lag spike there and um yeah. Okay, so they let Riven run in first, and now Riven is going to die, I'm assuming. The heal going off, but yeah, with the ignite, that wasn't enough. So, oh, hang on, I have, a, I have the camera locked on Riven. So yeah, the other two get out okay, and might just walk back. Yeah, there we go. Um, Blitzcrank starting off with Rocket Grab, which is normally not the skill you want to start off with because you can only use it like three times before your mana runs out. Plus it has a really long cooldown. You normally want to start with the uh, E. Uh, the... I forgot what it's called. Minions has Power Fist. That's what it is. And they are going for Two champion stop it seems, or Blitzcrank is going jungle. Two champion stop is uh, better than, well, the other way around. The, so two champions bottom basically, because, well, Dragon is top, and Dragon is the highest price target on uh, this map. And if Garen doesn't suspect anything, they might actually be able to do quite a lot of damage here. But yeah, not going to happen. Nothing coming out from Blitzcrank. He could have lay at least do some damage. And obviously this is very hard for Garen to handle. It's almost impossible for Garen to handle. I don't know why Blitzcrank didn't pick up this minion. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, but like you see here, the mana drops very quickly when you use your rocket grab. It's 140 mana. <laughs> Garen, <laughs> really mad, but Garen, really, really noob. I mean, why on earth would you need to bottom? Is is that a rule or what? I mean, Chogat can handle the lane pretty well on his own, I'm, s I'm sure. So, why not go to top against Garen? Anyway. We'll probably see him complain a lot more if he get killed. It gets killed, and um, yeah, especially if uh, if they stay top, because they're they're zoning him pretty efficiently. I mean, he saw Blitzcrank running in there, and uh, yeah, there we go, another one. I'm sure he has a lot more of them, and. Um, yeah, I won't be paying attention to the uh, chat too much, but... You must love these guys that have no idea why it would be efficient to have two guys stop. And why it would be good to have a 2v1 lane. So Nivia coming out to help. So now you should probably write back that they should learn how to play and uh, shouldn't have two champions stop. Let's crank getting his shield there. So surviving this easily, missing the rocket grab, that would have been a, cer a certain kill. And yeah, he's going to die now. But Anivia is going to die as well, because Riven is just going to chase him down. Oh, running in the other way. Anivia should have ran to the right side, of course. Um, not sure if she could have gotten out of that. But Yep, eventually getting out of there, which is uh, is a good escape. I mean, I have to give her that. 
no Garen range this time. Huh. So bottom is now 1v1. And um, yeah, it's going to be hard for uh, for Nocturne to do anything here. Except maybe harass a little bit. But he's going to get her get harassed back. Because he only has his Q to really harass with. Riffin having some trouble with the damage coming out from... Uh, uh, Nivia and Karen just yeah has to share his experience now, and that is a big deal. But yeah, Blitzcrank, I I really love him on this map. He is really good, uh, especially with all of the small lanes. I mean, or well, the size of the lanes, so the width of the lanes, I guess, is very small and. Uh, there's a lot of this random crap in in the middle. So all of the little walls. Riven going for some jungle XP, which is excellent. Let's go kind of missing another rocket grab. I should of course have waited until this moment to actually grab. Because now he can kill her. And previously Riven was too far away to actually do anything, but okay. So the uh, the rocket grab shouldn't be used as an initiation. It should be used to finish the kill, to keep someone close to you and your teammate when you want to kill them, not as an initiation. Unless you're just harassing, but in this case they could have easily gotten the kill by doing it correctly. Anyway, I was uh, talking about the little walls. So you can use the rocket grab to grab someone on the other side of the map, so who's hiding here for example, you can grab them from here or from here. And you can grab them and move them away from their teammates. And because there are so many of these uh, little, well, small walls, so the really thin walls, you can grab someone and displace them from where they are. And since they're mostly with their teammates, yeah, imagine if you're here and you can grab one of them. The other one would have to walk all the way around to meet up with them. And by that time they will be killed and will be another 2v1 situation. Maybe you're a little lower on health then, but it is still uh, way in your, to your advantage that you, if you do that. So the two of them obviously walking bottom. Now going through the wards which they haven't uh, put up themselves it seems. So otherwise they would understand that. So yeah they are going to uh, everyone's going to come here. And yeah if you land a good rocket grab here like on oh like on this guy <laughs> would be a three v one situation and you would get an easy kill but instead he grabs the uh, the lizard and nothing is going to happen now. Well, they're going to maybe one for one trade. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, Blitzcrank, dude, run out. Run, uh, yeah, now he's dead. There we go. He dies, so they lose another kill. I don't know what this Blitzcrank is doing. This kill was secure anyway. I mean, she failed a flash and that was basically it. Blitzcrank was just there to get killed. Just a free kill for the enemy. Well, I guess it costs a summoner, but... Yeah, huh. I'll trade a, a summoner for a kill any day. Oh, no, some more uh, Garen. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some more Garen spam. Because he's still mad that he got owned by uh, two of them. So Blitzcrank coming in. Oh, missing the grab once again. It's not that hard to land them, especially on this map. I mean, this map isn't that big, so the distances aren't that big. And yeah, anyway. Putting a war down. So Garen did see them running in there. Oh, so they don't have a ward because and if you had to check. And oh, now actually puts down 
the ice wall to see if they're doing dragon. So that's definitely a sign that they haven't got uh, haven't gotten around to placing the award there. Garen running in, but didn't see them, I think. And yeah, he is still top. If he's smart, he runs out to the back, but he's not smart. He apparently thinks he is uh, invincible. Riven running out of there. Come on, get out. Get out. Blitzcrank still has his shield up, so he might be okay. Yeah, they're not going to get a Nivia, but they are going to get this guy. Yeah, there's no way he could have killed them. So Nivia is still top. There she is. And yeah, she's probably going for this uh, Chuka. And yeah, I don't think she can really do anything to harass him too much. They're just trading some blows, but the blows from uh, Cho'Gath are way stronger than hers. Because Cho'Gath was in a solo lane. And yeah, she only has uh, the catalyst. Uh, Cho'Gath actually has some AP, some nice armor, magic resist. Some pretty decent items already. And yeah. That is a big deal, obviously. So I wonder if at some point they are going towards top and middle. The uh, the enemy that is. Because that is going to make all the difference in the world. Are they going for dragon? No. Just going for the speed buff here. Oh, tagging dragon there with something. Which is not very smart, because Dragon does quite a lot of damage. And Riven coming in, choke out from the behind. And Garen is actually going to get caught by all three of them. Bloodscrank taking the first damage once again, which is excellent. He still has his shield. Yeah, the ultimate from Garen going down, but yeah, just turn around, kill him. Yeah, fine. Let's crank shouldn't be too worried or too afraid of that because he has the HP from his shield and the ultimate was already used and the only thing Garen really has to kill Blitzcrank is his ultimate. And yeah, obviously the ultimate is going to trigger the shield and then the shield is big enough to absorb the ultimate. There we go. Easy dragon. The war time died exactly then, so <laughs> that is excellent. And noting down the time for the next dragon immediately. I keep forgetting that in 5v5s. But it is a big deal. If you uh, if you can keep doing that, it is really great. Because you know when the next dragon is going to spawn, your opponent does not. Uh, even if they now visit this spot and remove the... the a little miniature from their uh, minimap. They can see when it respawns, but they don't know. So if you are there exactly at the right time, you can. Oh, we saw Nocturne here, so they're probably hiding there. Chugat in the bottom of the lane, staying away from that. Very smart, very smart play. Anyway, if you uh, are there the moment it respawns. The uh, opponents uh, will, well, at at quickest, be there when it's already dead. So, and indeed, there they are. So, putting down a pink ward to make sure that the enemy didn't ward the same spots, and apparently they did not. So that is excellent for them. Oh, nocturne. Uh, Nocturne had a, had a flash available, so... He gets out of there, no problem. So the enemy apparently picking up some jungle as well. If you're ahead like this, you really want to prevent them from, uh, from getting any jungle experience. So if you can keep them out of the laning experience, because they are afraid to go in lane, <laughs> oh my god, pick out the kill already. 
Uh, yeah, if you can keep them out of the lane, then you should also try to prevent them from going into the jungle to get experience. And yeah, this is going to be an easy kill. Stun, silence, stun, stun, and they get the kill. And Karen getting some, uh, uh, trying to get some jungle experience. Oh, yeah, Chogat could have easily picked that up with uh, with the silence. Would have been nice experience for not doing anything. But instead, they decided to run after him and not do anything. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, they are going to hide next to the turret, obviously. That is what the smart thing to do is. And, um, yeah. This team is just going to farm up. Just going to pick this experience up. Uh, I pick up this experience. <sighs> and going to get some more jungle. Riven, in the meantime, picked up uh, the lane here. Could have taken down his turrets. At least most of it, because there's a cannon in there. And they take forever to die to the, to the turrets. And yeah, now they should push the bottom lane because there are three top. But the the enemy team is just guessing where they are, which is kind of fun to see. They have no wards out. I don't know if they even bought wards. Nope. So they aren't placing any wards either, because they have no wards. Uh, yeah, that's how you lose uh, a 3v3 by not warding. You only have two ward spots that you really need to take care of. The dragon and the red buff. And if you ward those, you can most of the time tell where the uh, enemy is or where they certainly will not be. I have to say the uh, QQ team, the one we're watching, is not actually warding efficiently either. Because they have no ward here, they have no ward at Dragon. And Dragon is going to come up in a little while. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Go Choga! Yep, he is going to get out of that. <laughs> wow, Choga's so tanky. So hard to kill. Especially when he has had a uh, solo lane. Because then with all the minions and all the... Uh, there's dragon. Uh, with all the minions and all the golds, it is so hard to actually kill him. So where did Riven put her ward? Oh, there. Okay. It's not an optimal spot, but at least there's a ward on the map now. Well, it has been there for about two minutes, I guess. And noting immediately the dragon tie. Yeah, yeah another wasted rocket grab. That's a shame. And you'll always see that now he doesn't have it. Because now it's on cooldown. I know, they're going to get this kill anyway. Doesn't matter. But yeah, this would be the time to rocket grab. There you go. So easy. So easy. Nocturne really bad at this map, by the way. He does have mobility on his uh, ultimate, but yeah, that's mobility towards your enemy instead of away from your enemy. And you want to avoid ganks. I mean, anyone can gank on this map. Because the only thing you need to do is run from one lane to the other. And I'm going to just tank this turret and take it down. They're going to basically open up this lane. And, um. Yeah, they should run out. This is not their fight. 
Oh, ultimate was still up. But yeah, Chogat dying. Chogat obviously shouldn't have died uh, for just a random kill. Yeah, but Riven is going to get out, no problem. <laughs> oh, just checking back for Anivia. <laughs> that is kind of cute. But it is really stupid as well. So. <laughs> so, if I heard correctly, they were teleporting back or recalling. Uh, at least Anivia is recalling there. Yeah, so. Oh, no, no, no. They probably went for the recall and then decided not to do it. But some nice damage going off on both sides. And yeah, come on, go jungle. Don't run around aimlessly, go do something. Finally. Although I think his, uh, his the passive on his ultimate actually triggered that one. Missing a rocket grab on a stationary target. That is so good. Riven has her ultimate up, so is in no real danger here. Oh my. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, rocket grab missed again. And that would have pulled someone in turret range. And with the power fist combo so rocket grab plus power fist it um, would have resulted in at least two uh, turret shots plus some nice damage from Riven because she would have po popped her ultimate and um, yeah done some nice things with that so might have been a kill might have also just been a whole lot of damage and Chogat in the meantime just taking out a turret on his own and getting chased by two but not really worried and there we go that's how you use rocket grab finally landing one uh, it wasn't a really easy one either Nice one, maximum range rocket grab. Oh, the ultimates from Chogath a little bit too early. Could have saved that for some future situation, but uh, Chogath is getting out of here, and um, they are going to pick up the kill on Garen here. I'm assuming. There we go. Come on, stay in, stay in. There we go. And now you should go back. Let's. Nicely done, nicely done. But I changed the uh, text to white. Huh. I think it used to be yellow or something. Yeah, nobody's coming. Blitzcrank should go heal because the next fight they have, he will otherwise only be half HP. At most, and uh, probably less. Yeah, so Dragon is up once again. The enemy has seen it too, so they are probably going to uh, not go for it at all, just ignore it apparently. And Riven can now take out Dragon on her own, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> the Q really does work on stationary targets. But picking up the dragon, no problem. Chilgoth is at 5 stacks, you should really get a 6th one in there. Yeah, that's because he died. Uh, and, well, he died quite a long time ago, I think. Because he only died once, yeah. So he died in the fight here, 
But he should have gotten the uh, six stack a long time ago already. And it's it's quite a bit of extra health. I think it's 90 extra health. Oh, yeah. Something like that. Something way more than that, in fact. It's, it's now 500 da- uh, f no, no, no. Hang on. Choga. Yeah, they're, they're going to get these skills easily and there's no way this Anivia is going to get out with the rocket grab. And there we go. So 600 bonus uh, bonus health for 5 stacks, that means 120 per stack. So 90 is probably level 1 and since he's uh, level 15 he will have a level 2 ultimate meaning 120 apparently per stack. But yeah, another 120 health would be great. <laughs> the elixir. Hmm. Why, why would you need Oracle Elixir against this team? They obviously haven't warded anywhere. And yeah, the team composition of this team is really, really nice. <laughs> oh, this is this is so sad. This Karen dude is so sad. See, they have they have no no nothing. And that's his six stack. So finally, up to his maximum health. And there we go, we'll kill on this guy, because there is no way he's going to get out. Come on! Okay. So he is going to get out. Oh! Oh, that was so close! So Nivia are going to get out there as well. Huh. But yeah, at least they're going to get Garen here. Garen again with the ultimate onto the Blitzcrank, which doesn't work. Because he has a shield. Turret diving here <laughs> against two champions, that is really not the smartest thing to do. And if you are picking up a legendary kill spree there, a killing spree there. And yeah, this guy is going to get out of there. No problem. This crank might be in some trouble. I don't know if his uh, shield... Yeah, it's recharging, so... He's definitely in some... Uh, oh! Nice! To put the wall on yourself. It makes it so much easier to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Dudes, just surrender. Just finish this game. But it's going to take a whole lot more. <laughs> anyway, we're going to fast forward a little bit until everybody's back in uh, into a lane. Or whatever. So Riven uh, farming up the jungle. Oh, this seems to be a rated 3v3. Oh, dragon is up, dragon is up. Who's going to pick it up? <laughs> nice. Actually picking the buff and the minion. Yeah, again, just dying now to uh, do the immense damage. I mean, 307. That means... It, uh, yeah, that's like... I don't know, 400 damage on her uh, ultimate. Oh no, it's actually 800 and... Oh wow. That is a lot.
That is a huge amount. I didn't know it was that much. I knew it was quite a big amount of damage, but... Wow. <laughs> Actually landing the stun there. It didn't do anything, but still landing the stun. And what's this guy doing? He's just, uh, yeah, running around in the enemy base. Why not? Going to run around the wall because it's not a good wall. And going to just walk back home very slowly. So even though he has level 2 boots, he still seems really slow, but that's because he is uh, very big, I guess. Because his movement speed is very good. 400 and something. I mean, Riven has 500 and... S or now 421. Oh, that's Garen. Hang on. <laughs> Riven has... 395. So, Chokot's actually quicker than Riven. Although, it seems that Riven is, uh, is quicker. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't land the ultimate shockwave there. Don't know why it would be that much damage. I mean, it is an, it is an incredible amount of damage. So anyway... Yeah, they lost an inhibitor, they're going to lose the other inhibitor, because they're defending 2v1 top. And um, that means that they are going to get killed in the bottom lane. Um, unless they do this, and then Riven is just going to push the, bo the top lane. And they're going to try to defend both of them, but by now it is over, dude. There is nothing you can do to win this. Oh. Is he actually going somewhere? No, he just wanted to scream darkness. Anyway, Riven picking up some more minions. Uh, has two blood sources now. Brutalizer, probably going to build the Brutalizer into whatever it builds into. I think the, the Ghost Blades. Really these buffs are, in my opinion, a little bit useless because they only last for like one minute. I mean you can see how quickly they tick away. So if you have to, uh, if you pick up both buffs and then go back home to heal, you cannot use them for anything. Um, yeah. Deciding to buy here. Or deciding what to buy here. And it's eventually going for the Elixir of Fortitude. Which is of course a nice choice. So another turret goes down. Another inhibitor is going to go down. And um... Yeah, Bloodscrain going to die here finally. No? Still alive, wow. They are going for him, but I wonder if it'll actually work because Blitzcrank is pretty quick. Riven, come on, help him out. Oh yeah, and this time he missed. Oh wow, no, don't do that. Oh, that was stupid. That was stupid. That was totally unnecessary. Riven had this kill anyway. Oh, that was such a shame. He completely distracted the enemy. That was enough. Then got out of there alive. That was even better. And then Riven would have picked up that kill. 
but instead he decided he wanted to do it himself and he died for it. That is such a shame. You shouldn't do that. Ah no, you should just la leave this guy run out, he's not going to die. Should have gone for dragon here, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, 49 gold plus I don't know what the uh, the kill is worth, but it's about 150 gold total. So dragon would have been much better choice, and now she's going to go for dragon, obviously, but. And there we go. Another 1000 gold for the team. So I think my hard disk is pretty full by now. And I hope this game will end really, really quickly because my hard disk doesn't like being this full. Anyway, there's nothing I can do, so even if I break off the game right here, you know what they're going to do. And we're just going to fast forward, and there is going to be some lag, obviously. Although, it doesn't have to stream at the high frames per minute now, uh, frames per second now. So, yeah, there we go, we get some more kills, and eventually they will kill the Nexus. There we go, nothing they can do with two inhibitors down. So, really nice game. Thanks for sending this, and um, yeah, do kick the Blitzcrank in the balls for playing so horribly. But a really nice team composition, so hope you enjoyed, I'll see you next time, choo choo!